Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, if it's your first time here and you enjoy this video, please uh, like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Today we're uh, at my dad's shop. I got my rock sliders in. So today's the day we're going to be installing those on the Jeep. Uh, let me show you guys around. So there's the Jeep. We still have a nice straight rocker panel so it shouldn't be too hard. So this is our dual axle car trailer that we purchased. We're going to be hopefully using this on some extended trips to maybe Utah, Arizona, Southern California. Um, a lot of exciting stuff that's going to be happening. We also have a couple of other um, exciting things happening in 2021. Uh, we are set to go to the Jeepers Jamboree um, July 22nd, so that's going to be fun. Uh, if you guys are going to be there, let us know. We're super excited to go and experience the Rubicon for the first time. This Volkswagen is a 1958 Beetle. Uh, my family has owned it since new. It was my great grandma's and we actually just recently imported it. It's a right hand drive. All original. Um, very clean. Um, only needs a couple minor things to get running. So we're actually going to be working on this as well. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. All right, so here's the box with the sliders. Um, I decided to go with the barricade sliders. Look at that, pretty sweet. This part goes, uh, is gonna be mounted uh, in between the frame mount and the frame, uh, the tub and the frame. But this should give us some nice protection against rubbing up against any trees or rocks, as well as, you know, another eighth inch of steel before we start bending our rocker panels. All right, got the Bobcat moved out of the shop. Got the Jeep in the shop. If you guys stay tuned, maybe uh, we can do a little flex test once I get the sliders installed. So because the slider has that piece that slides in under the frame uh, mount where the tub mounts onto the frame. We're going to loosen up the bolts and then we're going to jack up the tub, slide that in. We might have to make some modifications to the body lift uh, spacers that I have on there, but that shouldn't be an issue. It's a little 11 millimeter wrench. I'm going to use to take off this extra piece of flare. There's two bolts holding it on to the tub. So let's get to it. Ratcheting wrench would be really nice right now. But we make do with what we've got. And then there's this one little tab, just a little plastic tab that you gotta pull out. So I'm gonna need a screwdriver or something for that. There we go. Well, that broke off. That's fine, because we're not gonna use that anymore. So that's three 11 millimeter bolts that you got to take off. Alright, and so that's what we're left with. Might find a way to clean this up a little bit before I put the, the slider onto here. Alright, so I got a half inch ratchet here with a 19 millimeter socket. I'm going to take off these. Just gonna loosen them up for now. 
I did this not too long ago, uh, the body mounts or the, the body lift. So these are pretty easy to take off. If you've never had this off before, it might be a lot more difficult. Uh, the original bolts that I took out of there were pretty rusty. So we're only going to lift the tub up like maybe this much, so only this bolt really has to come out. The other ones are just loose, but they're still in there to hold the tub. And I'm actually going to take off, there's one more in the back under, kind of by the gas tank. And then I'm going to do the other side as well, just so that it has freedom to, to kind of move. So the last body mount um, is right by your gas tank. This is the skid plate to the gas tank. There's the tire and then right up here is the, uh, I guess, fourth body mount on this, on the driver's side of the Jeep. So these back two bolts is a 16 millimeter. Man, I might just keep this little sled in, in my Jeep all the time because uh, if you have to make a trail repair, it sure beats laying in the dirt or on a rock. Almost forgot about this back bolt. It is also a 16 millimeter. So that's this, that is this whole side is loose now. Um, there was actually, so three, four, five, five bolts um, on each side. So this is probably not the safest thing to do, um, you know, but we're only lifting the tub up maybe a quarter inch. So it is still securely attached to the frame and everything. So there's really no, no danger other than you want to be careful not to get your fingers caught in between the, the tub and your body mounts. So the tub is pretty thin, um, so you want to be careful where you jack it up from. Um, I found this little cross member here that adds some rigidity to it. If you try and jack it up here, it will push your tub in, so just be careful. pretty good so let's get this back on the Jeep So here's kind of what I'm running into. Um, I got the slider pretty much on where it's going to be. I have the body lift um, puck shaved down to the size it needs to be and it's good. Um, but when you push this up against, when you try and snug it up, I'm just holding it with my leg. And you push it up against the tub, you're left with this probably about a quarter inch gap 
between the tub and the step. So hopefully that gets pulled in. Uh, so the next step is going to be to mark uh, each mounting hole, take this back off, and then uh, drill the holes, and then mount it in its final location. So hopefully this gap um, sucks up tight against the, the tub. So something I always thought was interesting is you install rock sliders to protect your tub from damage, but then in installing the rock sliders, you have to drill holes in your tub. So it's kind of counterproductive, but I guess sacrifice a little to gain a lot or something. Um, part of the reason why I think it's sticking out that quarter inch is these little nut certs where the this factory uh, flare was attached stick out a little bit and so i might try and just hammer those down a little bit um, just to get the, the slider to sit nice and flush this sticker was way too hard to get off um, and it's going to get covered up anyway so that'll just have to stay there So I was just double checking where um, these holes are going to be on the inside and these all seem fine. It's just uh, kind of at foot level, but then this one um, is actually in front of the firewall and you have to remove this little plastic cover to get to it on the other side um, in there. But I guess it's a lot better than having to do it on a new JL or something. I guess if you took your doors off before you did this, it'd be, uh, might be a little bit easier. But no biggie. All right, so. There it is. The step is fully installed. Um, the little gap that it had, the little quarter inch gap, is pretty sucked in pretty well. Um, there's still a little bit of a gap, but um, it's actually not that bad. Um, back here, it might just be the, the tub is a little bent there to um, freaking mosquitoes are everywhere. So yeah, it's uh, overall, I like it. So got the one side done, got the uh, body mounts tied back up. Seems to be pretty sturdy. Um, Let's see. Yep, that'll do. Well, I'm gonna go get some lunch and then I'll tackle the other side when I get back. All right, so the other side is in. I, uh, while I was bolting down the slider on the other side, I, um, cross-threaded the living daylights out of one of these little bolts so I had to make a run to the local hardware store and pick some of those up and uh, I have to say I actually like the black on black look a lot better than the uh, that silver the silver hardware so I actually cleared them out at the hardware store but when they get some more in I might just swap out the other side so that it's it's all matching
Well, there you have it guys. That's how to install the barricade rock sliders. If you guys enjoyed this video and uh, if you guys want to see us take on the Rubicon in July, make sure you subscribe. Thanks.